Hi there everyone, welcome to Steps to Public Speaking, my name is Adam. Today I'm going to be bringing you a video on how to make a new library inside of Windows 7. Let's jump in. So here we are on my desktop, a beautiful Korean frozen morning, back when I was living over there. Now to make this new library, the very first thing you're going to do is come down to the very bottom left hand corner to where this folder is, click it. Now you'll see you're already in your libraries section by default. So this is where all of your libraries are. On the left hand side, you'll see that. Okay. Now the easiest and most direct way of making a new library in Windows 7 is to just right click in this area, go to down to new, library, bam, new library pops up. I'm just going to name it test. There we go. Just click anywhere. There, now we have it. The only problem is there's nothing in it. And it says to include a folder. Now, if you include a folder, it's going to ask you what folder on your computer you want to have shown inside this library. And that's not really what we want, because otherwise we would just go to the folder initially. So what we want is we want to have it so that it has its own folder. So to do that, we go down to local disk on the left-hand side. Okay, and we go to users, which is right near Windows. Double-click that. Double-click on user and we'll see a whole bunch of folders right here. Easiest way, right click, new, folder, and I'm going to name this folder the same as my library. So test, there we go. Now I just have to go back up to my libraries, okay, go to test, include a folder, and then you just find out where it is. You'll have sometimes, mine automatically goes there, but you just Go the same way again, local disk, users, user, test. Include folder, bam, there we go. Now test has its own area where you can save anything you want inside of it and you can make this an easily accessible library. Now on the left hand side here, I kind of hit this little arrow, whoop, there we go, just to kind of shrink that out of the way. Now we have it just like anything else. I've already created mine for steps to public speaking, so you can just go to documents or images or videos or wherever you want it to go inside of that library. We also have like the music files and video files, just like regular default windows. But that is our new library. And that's how you add a new library in Windows 7. It's just that simple. Thank you very much for attending this little tutorial on libraries in Windows 7. From myself, Adam, here at Steps to Public Speaking, I'll see you later.